Well, people on welfare could use their benefits to buy marijuana. That's what the State Department of Human Services is worried about. Workers say it could be happening at recreational pot shops that have ATMs. State records show last month 56 cash withdrawals were made with benefit cards at 19 pot shop ATMs for a total of nearly $4,000. The state doesn't have any proof yet that any of them bought marijuana. A Pueblo County dispensary is one of them on that report. Garrity News Channel 13's Scott Harrison went there today. The Greener Side Marijuana Dispensary south of Pueblo is one in Colorado found to have ATMs accessed with a welfare benefits card. It doesn't mean the card users bought marijuana, only that they possibly did. But for taxpayers who finance welfare benefits, where there's smoke, there's fire. But I think if, if you're spending your welfare money to buy marijuana instead of diapers for your child, you probably have your priorities misplaced. There's no law against welfare recipients using their benefits card to buy marijuana. The Department of Human Services says it's impossible to determine whether a recipient uses money from a dispensary ATM for that purpose. For one marijuana customer, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it appears bad to get it from the one here, but it's like, so is it better if they go to one, you know, downtown and get the cash and come here? They're going to say, yeah, you should shut down the dispensaries, of course. That's just going to be another tool in their fight. The DHS says it's concerned about the situation while believing that most welfare recipients don't use their cards to buy marijuana. They're good people. They're law-abiding people uh, who like to get high once in a while. Nothing wrong with that. But taxpayers would say it is wrong if it's using their tax dollars. It'll be up to lawmakers to close the loophole in the law. In Pueblo County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Scott. Democrats in the state legislature introduced a bill to prevent ATM withdrawals inside marijuana dispensaries and strip clubs, but that bill was voted down.